Okay. Okay. Same day, a little while later, with while their laundry was washing, Tim and Ellsworth decided to go and vacuum the soap out of Ellsworth's car. 8.07 p.m. You'll notice it's a bit blue, but for all these headlights that are burning here in the tip. And we're going back up the hill. A lot of good it's going to do when I'm moving out on Thursday. Right. But it was mostly for entertainment value and uh, not for informational value. Let's see. Is there anybody coming up the street? This is where it doesn't look like there's a street. And when I followed Tim up here the first night on the motorcycle, I wasn't sure if I could make it where he was going. But after a while, I stopped worrying about these things. So I was too busy sawing in the wheel. Uh, Tim, Tim was on a hazy skyline of LA and the Hollywood Reservoir. Tim was on the uh, earphone Max on when we were doing this, and he was breaking up most of the time, but I could hear such things like, it's real bumpy here. here. This is, I don't know if you can see uh, the cement wall to our right, but at night, in my headlights, all I could see was cement wall. Actually, on the map, looks like kind of just a sort of straight squiggly line. Turns out it's not much straight at all. Not a straight squiggly line, whatever. No, a squiggly line, and it's not very straight at all. Another uphill climb. As you can see there is no skyline, or there's uh, no horizon beyond this fence. It's a park over here. I haven't seen it, but Tim tells me there's a park over there. Now, if this were a little bit darker, I'd feel better about what we're about to do because I can't see because this stuff's real blind. Okay, now, you can I see can the whole see valley across, down here, clear. You can see the Hollywood sign up there. I don't know if you got that much resolution or anything, but we're, we're going all the way over to a curve over here. Uh, I don't know about this. This is also very blind. In fact, I met an Accord using the center of the road yesterday. There. We managed to come to agreeable terms. Hand stuff. Okay. So now we go this up this hill here. Try not to tumble down into these people's front yard. Some people with recumbent bicycles? No, what the hell are those? Uh, bicycles are from the side. Oh, okay, excuse me. Come out of the dog and really nasty junk in here. Yeah. And another blind thing that Tim always says be careful on. It's because stuff because like there's this. stuff like this. Yeah, and you go down this straight. I guess you can see my hands on the steering wheel because we did some work in here. On a motorcycle, I don't know what this is like, but in a car, oh, and these damn people are watering their yards. Just yeah, what us kind of road busters do, early. need. Now, my tires are probably real hot, but they're going to go that quick. And uh, here, you're gonna bottom here, I'm going to not bottom because I'm going to break some. Okay. Stay on the left. Go up this little bit here. And we're climbing again. That was a downhill thing. Where's the rug? Where's the rug? You gotta go way the hill left over here. And okay, a little, little straight up here. Another 
right there, but we're not there yet. Look at the pinky though. That's on the road, yeah. It's been the, the reluctant lady. matador. Yeah. Hey, coming up to the point. Almost car. home. Well, wasn't that easy? I hope the, the tape hasn't been like uh, pinching in the thing it does that when you're stretching. Well, mostly because the electronics problem. Uh, oh, we can watch it. Do we want to for uh, or yeah, just stick it up there. I'll tell you what, it's, it's about to be better up there. Okay, it's just gonna really, it's gonna like be a booger with the doors and stuff going backwards. Should we pull up back in? Okay. This is a fair grade here. This driveway is, you can probably tell, a pretty good one. And then this one right here in front of the house is a you know, small one. Okay. Now, I knew I should have bought a dust buster. I'm meaning to buy one. Jeepers. Oh, we're in like a 25 degree slope. <laughs> Man, I hope these. Oh, that's good. I'll put your foot on it. Listen, I'll leave you turned on and you can get to see what the inside of that house is like. You want to stay in here by yourself, or you want me to cut you off? I'll cut you off. You be careful now, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye. Oh, it's June 25th, 1988, and it's 8.14 p.m., uh, just in case I don't put this on the other thing, which we shot first, but never mind.